My name is Hazrat Brown. Um, I am a visual artist specializing in contemporary abstract art um, inspired by traditional Islamic geometric patterns. I've been asked to work on the, uh, the Binding Pages project, which is for people uh, over the age of 50 who are um, isolated and in sort of vulnerable uh, positions um, or have difficulty getting out and about. I can see the development of the uh, participants with the activities that I do in terms of their skills, their confidence and also the, the trust that they place in you as an artist. They starting to create really beautiful work which they don't think um, that they would be uh, capable of uh, to begin with but when they see the um, end result, they, they're really happy. So overall for me, I think this, is, this project is a really, really important project and I think we should have a continuation of these uh, projects and get people out and about and do something. Hi, my name's Damon um, and I've been running the African drumming sessions here at Acox Green Library for the binding pages. I've had a group in the morning and I've had a group in the afternoon and it's been brilliant. It's been, it's been a really good few weeks. I've been promoting African drumming on a musical level obviously but also as a, for the health benefits of it really. It's quite an old tradition and there's something about sitting in a circle and connecting with people and being able to play as a team really which is really really um, heartwarming um, and the more people there are the easier it is which is the opposite of where you'd think about it in a way but it actually is you know people say that one of the things they like about it is that they because you have to focus on it because they're focusing on it and they're playing and then they kind of can't think about what's normally going on in their minds so it's there's a case of being able to step out of your own mindset for even just a, a little while um, and that obviously is a liberating thing to do, isn't it? Is you, you can step out of whatever you're going through and you focus on something else for a bit, you know, and then when you come back to it, then it, it's, you've got a new perspective on it. It's been a very positive experience uh, and I'm certainly looking forward to the last couple of weeks of doing it and we've got the afternoon session here today as well. When I started I found the participants were very, very sort of enclosed, um, didn't really seem very positive about themselves and self-image, were very reluctant in engaging in the arts and their self-confidence with the arts uh, and really weren't integrating with other participants. Uh, within the first week we started our drawing sessions and we had to break down barriers and this is where I think the difference was made. There was a lot of I can't, I can't and that's all I could hear, I can't, I've been told when I was in school and we're talking about the over 55 um, groups so we had people in their 60s and 70s that had been told in school that they can't draw that what they're drawing is wrong and this is not the correct way to do things so we had to break down in the first session all those barriers that there is no such thing as can't that you can do it and uh, through practice their own practice and engaging and support and encouragement they realized that they actually could and all the things that they've been told in their youth were incorrect we also worked with um, participants with uh, severe learning and developmental difficulties so there wasn't always communication but there was communication
communication through art. Uh, and again, it was breaking down barriers, teaching them that they could, uh, and also supporting their carers, because their carers would come with them. The carers would see how we teach and how we work with participants, and that would be a demonstration for them. So they're learning as well, and they would also participate. And once they would see us modelling how uh, you engage with people, how you teach them arts, how you encourage them, the kind of language you use, they were then able, when you move to a different participant, they were able to practice that with the person they're caring for. But every week, I noticed a massive difference. So in terms of uh, isolation, feeling depressed and lonely, uh, by the second week, people had chosen groups to sit with, which was amazing. People were talking across the table and engaging and talking through the sessions, whereas the first session was quite quiet. Uh, people were coming up to me, staying after the sessions, asking, can they come in the afternoon session as well? And of course, I said, that's fine. We had enough space. We had enough materials. Can they continue their work? So that already, that already, showed, already showed progress. That showed they were coming out of their shells and they weren't as isolated in the sessions obviously then the next stage is bringing that lack of isolation into their own lives and that happened towards the end of the project